what's going on guys welcome back to my channel it's boss on here and today um i'm gonna be telling you guys a story of the first official experience i ha ever ever had with a karen now i'm pretty sure you guys all all the human beings know what a karen is it's basically an adult that is um it's basically an adult that is really mean and um it's just generally a bad person like she can just still chew you out even though she chop your um um chop your um arm off yeah i'm autistic so i kind of pause while in minute sentence trying to recount my story anyways um basically um surprisingly this story happened when i was um 7 years old which is not surprising considering um that um usually karen stories usually happen when you're um an adult but whatever let's get to the story i'm getting off topic it's been like one minute um basically um this karen had a son and her son was actually an, a decent kid he was nice and like generally a good person um for the sake of the story we're just gonna call this kid um eric because i forgot this kid's name um anyways um where I was invited to this birthday party and um basically um I was having a really good time um um however my uh my uh little kid self did not know what was ex especially gonna happen today but so basically um I got invited to this water park party and I was having a good time um so I noticed this kid um kid and we um i was like hey oh hello there and he's like oh hello there my name is um eric not his actual name because i don't i don't i forgot his name could have we could have hanged out um if i remember his name but i it's kind of sad i forgot but anyways um we just started hanging out with each other and it was like a decent time um anyways um it was a really especially good time um, however, for some reason, I, like, I'm start, I was starting to, like, have, um, the probability of, like, jumping for some reason, because, you know, I just, I just sometimes like to jump, I guess, but, like, um, however, um, as I was jumping, I kind of lost my balance, and I accidentally drop kicked him in the head, so, what, so I dropped, I dropped kicked him, I drop kicked him in the head, and he fell down on the ground, which not, is not surprising considering when you're seven years old, um, you can't, you know, like, um, it's like you're immediately gonna, like, um, um, fat, fall flat on the earth. Um, so anyways, um, we're just in, um, I just, I just realized that I drop kicked and I was like, bro, Eric, are you okay? He's like, uh, no, it's fine. I can get back up. All of a sudden, I see this um, this, um, 30, um, year, um, 30 age year old woman, I think, um, and she just stuns, um, she runs toward, out of nowhere, she runs towards Eric, and she's like, oh my, oh my god, Eric, hold on, <laughs> which I, that was a great Karen voice, what it, hold on, I messed up, crap, anyways, <clears throat> oh my god, Eric, are you okay, who did this? Um, um, so basically, um, she noticed me, she was like, Did you do this to my son? And I was like, um, yeah. Um, I, um, however, for some reason, um, when she was just telling me, like, stuff out and yelling at me, uh, for some reason, I just, like, paused and freeze for a second, like, um, I was, like, in a reality check of some sort, I don't know if um, if um, Dio called Zawardo and freeze my timeline or something, but I just forgot what she said. So, basically, after like ten seconds of not hearing what she said, I was like, I said, "Huh?" And then she um says, "Did you hit my son?" I was like, "Um, yeah, but it what it's an accident, okay? I swear." And I'm kind of like kind of freaking out at this point because I'm like I'm getting chewed out by um, an adult over here. So um, 
the kid starts crying, but he um, but then he started telling his mom, he's like, it's okay, mom. It, it was just an accident. We're like a good friend. You got, you have to understand. And um, she was like, shut up. I'm doing this for you. And I don't know if she was just ignoring her son, but she, um, for some reason, had a bad attitude, which I don't know for some people uh, if she was like this, but however, um, all right, guys, sorry about that. I had some difficulties. I had to cut that out. But anyways, um, I think I left off. So basically, the Karen is like, I'm doing this for you, so please shut up. Um, I was like, are you kidding me? Um, so basically, see, she starts chewing me out of how I'm like a bad person. But um, all of a sudden, um, I see this person, and she like comes out of nowhere. And... um. I don't know if she knew this person or not, but she just ran over to this Karen, and, um, she, um, starts arguing with her, and they just, like, argue bo back and forth. Um, at this point, they're both, um, away. Karen, Karen over here is away from her child, her son. Um, I went over to, um, her, I went over to Derek, and I was like, hey, Derek, are you okay? Did I, uh, I'm sorry if I, if I accidentally hurt her. He's like, oh, bro, it's oh bro it's fine um it's um i know you did this on accident it was on purpose it was it was not on purpose um however he was just kind of saying it um he was kind of crying a tiny bit but i knew that um he um that um it wasn't on purpose but um so basically i um um i mean um she um kind of snapped um the karen However, um, snapped, um, out and started, started yelling, saying, This place is the worst park ever, I can't believe, I can't believe, da 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 all, like, all this stuff, saying how, like, everyone's just a bad person in general, and the only people that are great are, like, Karens and stuff, um, so, basically, she grabs her son, and they went to leave, which, I was like, Come on, we me and your me and Eric were just playing, man. We were having a good time, but sadly, she grabbed her son. And they left. However, um, um, Eric um saw me and he just waved goodbye. And I can tell by like his eyes that um he wanted to play with play with me more. But um, I can tell that he was injured and he probably needed to go to the hospital. So they left, and well. He was a, he was a good um, kid. We hanged out for like some time. Sadly, I never got to see that kid again. I made some friends, but I never got to see him again. But anyways, I went back to the party group, and um, well, I never told um this um my experience with the Karen ever to my mom and my parents. So when I went um back to the party, I was kind of I kind of looked uncomfortable. And my mom was like. Oh hey, what's wrong? Your your face kind of you you look kind of uncomfortable. She's like, I'm like, uh, I mean, I said, oh, um, it's nothing. I just need to use the bathroom. So she takes me to the bathroom. And I was like, okay, let's go um go back to the party. So I get my goodies because we're about to the party just end is about to end. So we get our goodies and um um and I and each of us got a fidget spinner and um well. The party was a great time, and, like, everyone got a fidget spinner. Um, that was the only thing we got, however. Um, I'm actually a fidget spinner collector, so, yeah, I'm, I, I don't really collect fidget spinners anymore, but I, I really like fidget spinners. They're a really good source of entertainment back in my days, whatever. But, um, yeah, that's basically the first time I ever experienced with a Karen. However, um, you friend out there, um, if you're watching this story, um, I hope you, um, are feeling better, and I'm sorry I dropped you, I drop kicked you. But anyways, um, hope you guys have, um, have a, um, have a good day, um, this is Boss Han signing out, and the moral of the story is basically, just don't, um, be rude to your son and not leave him, um, stay on the ground. If, if someone accidentally drop kicks your son, don't just assume that it's his fault. He accidentally kicked him, and, and just to say that, don't be, um, just don't be a, um, 
a poo poo head, okay? Just don't be mean to, um, guys. Alright, this is boss on peace.